up guys, Sloppy Web Blow here. Um, I just got a new router, the uh, Netgear R6300 Wi-Fi router, which has the uh, Next technology, which is the AC technology that'll sooner or later I'll start hitting um, the home and every kind of use available. Um, it's a fantastic router. It's big. It's a big router, which you're going to see in a minute. It's um, my other router, the um, D-Link Gamer Lounge one, which I really liked the router. It was really good for gaming and stuff. It's just starting to get old, and they don't ever update the firmware. It's like forever. So I was starting to get drop-off, so I figured I'd upgrade with this one. This one's got the uh, dual bandwidth, which uh, I think is fantastic. So you got the 5 gigs, and you got the 2.4, which is good. They can run simultaneously. It's got 4 gigabit ports in the back. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like and comes with. Alright guys, the back of the box, I want to show you that. Some of the features that it has. Gigabit Wi-Fi. Gigabit Wired. Simultaneous dual band. You guys can see it for yourself. It's um, a really good router. Alright, I want to show you the back. And I'm going to show you the side now. Alright guys, here's the side of the router. Just showing you a diagram what you could do and what it does and all that. Alright guys, and here's the other side of it I wanted to show you. Alright guys, this is what it looks like. It's a very big router, to say the least. Man, it's pretty cool. On the bottom you can see the uh, Wi-Fi in the blue that it's on, the power. It really is a really big router. Uh, this is the front. Let me show you the other sides. Alright guys, this is the side. I'm going to come in so you guys can see it. It's got, right on the side it has the Wi-Fi on, off. You can push a button to turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Alright, you got the WPS, which is the security. You can just push with activation with just one button, which I'm not doing. I use the internal. There is one of the two USB inputs. Uh, that's really good for putting your printer into it, so that way you could Wi-Fi your printer right through the router. Just want to show you the side, get an idea what it looks like. And here's the back, guys. I already got four inputs going into it. On the bottom left, you have another USB. You got four of the gigabit ports. You got a reset button over there. And you got the power button. All right, this is the back. It's well ventilated. Um, I don't find it gets that hot. Just wanted to show you what that looks like. And just to show you fast again, here's it from the side. It's really skinny. It's just tall. All right, it's cool looking, man. It's got a cool look to it. Let me turn it for you guys again. It's got the gold bottom, as you can see. All right. Next, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you log in and stuff. It's really simple to operate for anybody who's uh, intimidated with the uh, setting up your router and stuff. You can go pretty deep, obviously, but it's pretty easy to operate. That gold is uh, pretty cool looking on it. All right, guys. I want to show you the power brick too. It's pretty big, man. Obviously, you have the power brick that the why it goes to the router and you have the cord that plugs into the power brick that goes to the, your outlet. Uh, it's pretty big. It's not internal like some of them. You've got a little plug out. You do have a power brick and I definitely wanted to show you that so you guys knew that that's what you're going to actually have to power this beast up. I just want to show you uh, with the Netgear routers on this one you do routerlogin.net uh, obviously, and I just wanted to show you what it kind of looks like the dashboard a little bit. Um, right now I'm in the wireless. There's different features, but this is what it looks like. Very simple. Set up your different settings and all that. Firmware version. Alright, just wanted to have show you a little bit about what it looks like. And um, obviously I'm not going to, my stuff is here, so I don't want to go doing anything. But that's how you go. You got home, internet, wireless, attached devices. Not hard. Shows you what's going on. Very simple to set up. Uh, there's a, on the home screen, it even has more basic stuff. In closing, I just want to tell you, uh, with the new router, compared to like the D-Link uh, Gamer Lounge I had, the new router is 
definitely much more improved. Um, I'm getting less drop-offs, less... The other one was famous. You're sitting there and you would just get the spin or you would lose connection. It was having definitely drop-offs. That's at least what I call it. This one's not getting that. I'm noticing much improved on the iPad. If I'm streaming anything, it's just tremendously faster. Now, I have no kind of AC stuff yet because I just don't have that and I don't think it's even out yet. So, that's down the road and stuff. But already this thing's definitely performing fantastic. Things I definitely tell you to do is update the firmware. Make sure you update the firmware before you even start kicking into this thing. Because these things are important. Just the uh, firmware on these type of models. Otherwise, um, I definitely recommend it. It's a fantastic thing. I think it cost me, I think it was um, 190 I think, for the router. I think it was like that. Uh, I had some gift cards, so I ended up doing it. It was just a worthy upgrade. But that's it, really. Otherwise, I highly recommend it. You'll have no issues. It's fantastic. It's fast, and you'll love it. Uh, that's it. There's nothing really to knock about it. But that's it, guys. Just wanted to let you know that.